What is going on guys, Maglin here, coming back at you with another video, and today we are back on Madden 18 Connected Franchise for an interesting type video I thought would be kind of cool to take a look at, and this is, can the Watt brothers win the Super Bowl? So I'm sure you guys are familiar with at least one, probably two, if not all three of the Watt brothers, of course. You have the multiple time Defensive Player of the Year, J.J. Watt. He is insane in the game. I'm pretty sure we can check out his stats from previous years. Yes, we can. So, multiple seasons of 20 plus sacks. 17 and a half sacks in 2015, but he has been injured over uh, the last few years, unfortunately, for him. And um, then you go to his brother, current member of the Pittsburgh Steelers. He is now, of course, on this Houston Texan team, TJ Watt, the rookie out of Wisconsin. I believe all the Watt brothers went to Wisconsin. I know for a fact that JJ did, and we'll get to the other one in a minute. He came out first round pick out of Wisconsin. He's been an extremely versatile player for the Pittsburgh Steelers, dropping back into coverage and doing that at an extremely high level, but also getting after the quarterback. As I record this, he has five sacks on the season, which isn't an overwhelming margin, but for a team like the Steelers that in years past hasn't exactly um, had extremely good rookies or rookies that they've played a lot, Five sacks is not a terrible number, and that doesn't even take into account what TJ Watt does for the Steelers' defense in terms of versatility and things like that. He's not always going after the quarterback. So he is a very exciting young player with a great future, great potential. He is the second brother, but you guys can see a decline here. When we get from a 99 overall, one of the top five best defensive players in the league, to TJ Watt, an 80 overall rookie, to offense where we have Derek Watt, who plays fullback. <laughs> okay, he's a 58 overall. He also went to Wisconsin. And, um, yeah, it isn't a great situation for Derek. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Chargers fullback, and, I mean, you look at his attributes here, and they're not all that good. He is decent speed for a fullback, good acceleration, I guess all right trucking, but nothing else is even formidable. He's a 58 overall. Um, not ideal. But we do have some good playmakers around him, and guys like Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, Lamar Miller, Deontay Foreman, Hook'em Horn, CJ Fedorowicz. So the point of this video is we're taking, I think, three years um, to kind of, I guess, very casually just see how the Watt brothers develop without doing too much to make the team insane. This isn't a rebuild. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. I will see you guys at the end of season one where we can check out the stats. All right, so we are nine, six, and one, and we have made the playoffs. We have a decent amount of XP, only 7K for TJ, uh, 7K for Derek, good amount of XP for Deshaun Watson, and then JJ Watt, I mean, there's not really much upgrading him, but he is, uh, 99 overall with about 6.7k worth of XP. We'll see the stats and see how everyone did. We'll briefly go over some of the offensive guys. So Deshaun Watson, 3,600 yards, 29 TDs, 10 interceptions, rushing. Lamar Miller, 1,600 yards, 11 touchdowns. Deontay Foreman, 14 touchdowns as well, 656 yards for him. Derek Watts down here, five attempts, four carries. Um, but there's a chance he got some receptions. We might actually start him at backup running back. Let's go ahead and see what. Derek Watt did. Four catches, 39 yards, and a touchdown. Actually, not all that bad for limited carries um, and limited catches. So, defensively, let's go ahead and take a look at sack numbers, because that's what we care about. Seven for J.J. Watt. That's a peculiar number. <laughs> Three and a half for T.J. No one is getting after the quarterback. That is really bad. Um, J.J. Watt had 14 tackles for loss. T.J. had two. 75 total tackles. T.J. Watt had and JJ Watt had 80. All right, did they have any deflections? JJ Watt had one deflection, three for TJ, force fumbles one for TJ, zero for JJ Watt. Both had no fumble recoveries, and clearly they both had no interceptions, no safeties. Clowney had a safety though. Let's check out awards, see if anyone got in the awards. I doubt it, um, but we'll check out where they might have. Uh, so, defensive player of the year. Clearly, no Texans in there, no J.J. Watt. Sean Watson wins Offensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, Zach Cunningham in there at number five. And T.J. Watt, number nine for Defensive Rookie of the Year voting. Best D-line, no J.J. Watt. Best linebacker, 
no TJ Watt. Not a great start, but can this team of Watt brothers beat the Raiders and advance to the next round of the playoffs? They do not. Okay. That's fair. We're going to get through this offseason, and I will see you guys for the start of season number two. We're going to progress the Watt brothers, get them up a little bit better, and they're going to continue to get better as this goes on. So we're, we're in good shape. All right, so I pretty much tried to get the settings so the CPU would pretty much handle everything. So we can just simulate to the next season. I've already taken the liberty of upgrading all three of the Watt brothers and then upgrading the team um, by letting the CPU handle, you know, Deshaun Watson and every other player on this team. I don't know why I singled him out. All right, we're in the next season, though. And the CPU signed Darrell Young. No, you're getting, you're getting cut. Not, not what's going to happen. Derek Watt is our guy. CPU sign Cordero Patterson, DJ Fluker, Jesus, Kevin Pamp. <laughs> what did they sign? We're in, we're in good shape, though. Uh, TJ Watt's up to an 81 overall. Derek is up to a 63. Although, I do want to make him a couple of things. It could hurt our chances, but he is going to be our backup running back, which should get him a lot of carries. He's also going to be a third down running back. He's going to be that number two option. Doug Martin. Okay. Actually, no. He's going to be the number one option. T Derek Watt is the future of this Texans running game. All right, here we go, though. Let's go ahead and simulate into year number two. I think we'll get back to the playoffs, especially with the progression of some of our other players. But, yeah, see you guys there. All right, we are a wild card playoff team yet again. This time, wow, a lot of XP for Derek Watt. What did he do? He made the Pro Bowl and got quick development. That's what I love to see. That is perfect. Check out defense. See what happened here. JJ still killing it. Um, pretty much the same as what happened last time. He made his fifth Pro Bowl. TJ Watt. Um, he make anything? Nah. Just just doing his thing. Decent amount of XP. Let's check out the stats and see how he might have may have got. There's transactions. Um, Broncos fire Vance. Joseph, no good. All right, let's check out the stats though. Briefly, we're going to go over Deshaun Watson. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. Rushing, though. Here's what we care about. Derek Watt, 12 touchdowns, 530 yards for him. Average three on the ground. Not all that bad. What about receiving? Where's Derek Watt in here? Eight catches for 86 yards. We're moving on up here. Defensively, how we do in terms of sacks. 12 for J.J. Watt and 11 for T.J. Watt. The Watt brothers in double-digit sacks. J.J. Watt also had 32 tackles for loss. 1 for T.J., 87 tackles for J.J., 71 for T.J. Both no interceptions. T.J. Watt allowed 10 catches. J.J. Watt forced a fumble. No one recovered. J.J. Watt also blocked a kick. What a beast he is. The J.J. Watt win defensive player of the year. No. Is he anywhere in here? No, he's not. Defensive rookie of the year. It doesn't really matter. Uh, best running back. It would be insane to see TJ Watt in there. Best D-line, JJ Watt in there at number four. Show me TJ Watt at best linebackers. Yes, at number 10, he's in there. Okay, okay, we're moving on up. Let me go ahead and do some of this coach XP on those positions to get them even more XP, then upgrade, and then head into the playoffs. All right, so TJ Watt is now up to an 83 overall. 83 speed, 83 finesse move, 85 hit power, 86 tackle, 79 black shit, 84 pursuit. Not all that bad. JJ Watt is still an absolute monster. There's nothing to really even upgrade on him. I will. I'm going to let the CPU handle it, though, because it doesn't really matter. And I've pretty much been focusing on Derek Watt as more of a halfback now and not actually a fullback. So he's 68 overall halfback, but a 72 overall... Um, I, I meant to say fullback there, but a 68... No, 72 overall halfback. So I focus on things like... Um, Juke... But I also focused on ball carry vision, which is now up to an 89 stiff arm I did. So, I mean, he's getting up there in some of these categories. Not really. But ball carry vision is high, so maybe he'll get more yardage. But let's go ahead and upgrade the rest of the team via spend team XP and then see if we can advance to the next round of the playoffs. Year three, though, I think is going to be our year. Also, if you guys think I should do, you know, more pairs of teams of who should win the Super Bowl and whatnot... Let me know down in the comments section below who I should do. Also, Twitter is a great spot to interact with me. Twitter.com slash Bengal Designs. Link is in the description of every one of my videos. Hope to see you guys there. Also, if you, for some reason, want to check out my second channel for other games and things like that, link to that's in the description as well. It's a good spot. Check it out. Um, but the Titans in the wild card. Can we go ahead and beat them here? I sure hope so. 
no, we can't. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and simulate to the off season just so I can make sure I can re-sign JJ Watt if necessary slash Derek. I know TJ is not gonna have his contract expiring for a while, but I don't really know what the situation is on the other fellas. Oh, I let the CPU handle that. All right, well, let's hope they did what they needed to do. Derek Watt's still here. All right, Golden. TJ Watt's here, JJ Watt's here. All right, we have no cornerbacks. They're gonna need to handle that because I'm not, I don't want anything to do with it. All right, um, we still have Derek Watt. They changed the depth chart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change it right back, so whatever. We just said it looks like a sick rookie receiver. God, he is insane. All right, that's beside the point. Defensively, TJ's still here, JJ's still here. Our cornerbacks are awful. What is going on there? All right, let's use some of this XP that we got for no reason. I don't know where this came from. All right, so backup running back is going to be Derek Watt yet again. He's actually a decent overall now at that position. Third down running back, also going to be Derek Watt. He's not too great because he can't catch or anything. But we made the playoffs last year with this, this recipe. Maybe we'll do a fourth season just for fun. I'm not sure, but we'll see how this season goes. Let's see if I can spend some more coach XP. I'm so close to that quarterback package for XP. So uh, I'm going to get that, which I can afford it now. I saw it popped up in the top right. And then I will see you guys at the end of this season. Hopefully, it's not going to be Deshaun Watts. It's not going to be anybody else. Hopefully, TJ, Derek, and JJ Watt can lead this team back in the playoffs. And then eventually, the Super Bowl. See you for the playoffs. All right, we got a first round bye. That is awesome. We went 11-5. and five, Not too shabby. Let's check out the stats, see how we maybe got there. Deshaun Watson, another not too great season. That's Matt Stafford's brother, we'll say. Because it maybe. Um, screw Lamar Miller. Derek Watt, 173 attempts, 539 yards, average 3.1, which is horrific. Uh, 12 touchdowns, though. He fumbled the ball four times. Did not break one tackle. His long was five yards. That's okay. Ball carry vision is. We'll, we'll get there. Receiving, he had nine catches for 111 yards. That is not bad. 34 yards after the catch. That's not bad. Do you have any pancakes? They don't even track that anymore. All right. <laughs> Defensively, tackles, TJ Watt at 86. Um, JJ Watt had 74. Tackles for loss, JJ Watt had 12. TJ Watt had 2. Quarterback sacks, we have 13.5 from JJ Watt, and now 13 from TJ. They're being a vicious combo. Um, deflections, 4 for JJ, 2 for TJ Watt as he allows 10 catches again. JJ Watt forced 3 fumbles. One for TJ. They both recovered one. Uh, JJ Watt got a safety. Be cool if they, if or one of them scored a touchdown. Let's see if any of them made the Pro Bowl though. All right, this got to be a Pro Bowl season from Derek Watt, right? Yes, his second Pro Bowl. That's a cheat code for fullbacks. Not that anyone would care. But if you want them, just put them at backup running back. Progression history. TJ Watt makes the Pro Bowl. That's what I like to see, and I'm sure JJ. Of course, he had to have made the Pro Bowl. Yep, his sixth Pro Bowl. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys and um, see who we have in the divisional round. <laughs> I also love how at the bottom, the tickers from like months and months ago, they just don't update it at all. Regardless, Derek Watt is up to a 74 overall. And then on defense, TJ Watt's actually up to an 87. So he's looking pretty good. I focused a lot on finesse move this time. That's up to a 90. And I kind of wish since like, you can see it goes by different tiers, um, like of what color it shows. So the really bad stats are it goes like orange or red to orange to yellow and then it goes to green in like the mid 70s for some stats and then a 99 is the exact same color i wish it was different like maybe a really dark green or it goes to blue like a light blue would be kind of cool i don't care it doesn't really matter let's go to the divisional see who we have in the divisional the 10 5 and 1 ravens can we advance to the conference championship with this watt brothers team we can love to see it can we beat the Bengals, though? They went 14-2. and two. That's unrealistic. Simulating to the Super Bowl. Can the Texans get there? No. Wait. Yeah, we're not there. We're not there. Um, let's see how we lost. Yeah, the Bengals beat us. Postseason Conference Championship lost 23-10. to 10. How'd the Watt brothers do? Rushing. Derek Watt, three carries for five yards. Receiving. Did he catch any balls? He did not. 
Defensively though, any sacks? One for JJ. Okay, that's not really that helpful. Uh, decent game. All right though, season four, the fourth and final season, that's gonna be the one. Let's simulate for the next season. Hopefully the CPU will hold on to TJ, Derek, and JJ so I don't have to do any crazy trading. Also, I would appreciate you guys hitting the subscribe button if you are new. Maybe like the video helps me out. Definitely subscribe though if you have not already. That would be awesome. But uh, please, TJ's here, JJ's here. JJ actually regressed. Derek is gone. Where is Derek Watt? Hold on. Can't escape me that easily. All right, Derek Watt's back on the team. Quick development too. Like, what do you? How do you? How do you let that happen? We gotta have him out there. Elmore is no more. See you later, Wisconsin player. We'd like a different Wisconsin fullback. His name is Derek Watt. Back to the depth chart. I'll make these changes. Also, I think I might change Derek Watt's position at halfback. So, like, I don't really know. He's so bad. <laughs> I mean, he's so good. But he's not particularly good in, in any one area. He's just really good in all of them. But I'd like him to be uh, auto-upgraded by the CPU so they can get him better. Not that there's, like, much room for improvement. He's, he's so sick. I just auto-reordered. That's not what I wanted to do. But, yeah, I, I prefer they upgraded him as a running back. Well, as a halfback. So, I don't want run blocking upgraded if he's going to get a lot of carries, you know? He's almost better than Doug Martin. I love that. Everything is sorted out. Will Fuller is gone. Yeah, this team is not is not getting much better. <laughs> the CPU is just not addressing huge positions for us. They let Bernardrick McKinney go. I don't know what's going on with this team. Irrelevant. Simulating now to the playoffs. Season 4 is our year. Hopefully we'll go to the playoffs. Maybe we'll jump into a game and see what they do. Play with them for a little bit. That'd be kind of fun. No, we actually missed the playoffs. That's not fun. No, okay, maybe maybe I'll do a fifth season. Every, uh, Derek didn't even make the... Pro why? It's because he wasn't at halfback number two. This is why I managed the team. And he looks, he looks so good, too. Ridiculous. Sean Watson, I mean, he's just kind of been... Kind of weird the entire season. Derek Watt, 106 carries, 281 yards, 8 touchdowns receiving. How'd he do? A lot of catches, 10 for 102. Two touchdowns for him, though. Love to see it. Defensively, check out sacks. 11 for Clowney, 10.5 for TJ, 7 for JJ. Tackles for loss, 21 for JJ, though. I saw that. TJ Watt had 3. TJ also had his first career interception. Allowed 10 catches again. Forced to fumble. JJ also forced to fumble. Neither recovered one. JJ got a safety. No touchdowns for either of them. I think we're actually going to call it here. It's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and do like one final progression for him. But I guess your answer is um, no. The, the Watt brothers cannot win the Super Bowl because a Super Bowl is not won by few individual players. It's won by full teams. And the CPU's inability to put playmakers around these absolute studs like Derek Watt, absolute beast. I mean, he doesn't even look all that bad. 90 carrying, 90 ball carry vision, 80 juke, sick. Defensively, TJ Watt got up to an 88 overall. Um, a two Pro Bowl, he got quick development, not that that bad, superstar development. How do you get superstar? I don't see where that happened. He has superstar now though. I don't, I didn't do that. <laughs> Okay, J.J. Watt, yeah, he's still sick, but regressing a little bit. Didn't even make the Pro Bowl. Unfortunate. But, I mean, look, look what's kind of cool. I had fun. Um, I kind of want to see what these players would do on the field. Well, if I can go to next season, and if they're all on the same team, we'll see what they, they do on the field. kind of want to get Derek Watt some touches. All right, Derek Watt is not on the team. <laughs> That is unfortunate to say the least. Oh, I needed to make him. A, that's how he's making Pro Bowls because I had him at fullback. That was a mistake. Okay, I, I know my error now. Oh my God, where is Derek Watt? Derek Watt is on another team. Who would have signed Derek Watt? I mean, not that he's not sick, but like, who? I need him back on the team. We have Dalvin Cook now, I guess. Fucking hell. Derek Watt has disappeared. I have no idea where he is. 
He's got to be hiding in free agency somewhere. I must have just missed him the first time around. Derek Watt is back in the team. He's going to play fullback because I noticed the error of my ways. He performed best at fullback. He will play fullback, which actually means uh, backup running back. But fullback. All right, this is pretty much my last shot at this, I think. So I'm going to simulate to around the playoffs. And in the case that we don't make it, which I suppose there's a chance that we might not, I am going to stop at week 17, depending on what the record is, so we can jump into a game. Otherwise, we're playing the playoffs. All right, we are six and nine. This is not the team of dreams. I can tell you that much for certain. Good amount of XP though for Derek Watt. Not that he'll make the Pro Bowl because it's not the end of the season, so we can't get the XP for that, which is unfortunate. We will upgrade him as much as possible. Um, I don't know, ball carry vision doesn't matter. Let's uh, can 86 juke. And for the rest, I'm just gonna spend team XP. I'm just gonna let the CPU handle it. TJ Watt actually leads your team in terms of XP. I didn't see JJ Watt with a lot of XP. JJ Watt had to have been on this team right at the start of the year. Had to have been. Rushing, Derek Watt, 147 carries for 473 yards, 12 touchdowns, balling out. He also had nine catches for 123 yards, more and more yards every year. TJ Watt had 10 and a half sacks, JJ had eight, 14 tackles for loss for JJ, two for TJ, who also added a pick to his resume. We're jumping into this game, though, against... Who are we playing? The Bills. Why not? I think the difficulty is all Madden, so this actually could be a pain. I'm not going to be able to do anything. All right, we return first, so Derek's going to get some carries for sure. I hate... The, what is this camera? Okay. My goals for this is score a touchdown with Derek Watt and pick up a sack with either TJ or JJ. All right, my difficulty's pro. This actually is going to be a breeze. <laughs> Never mind. Derek is not our starting fullback. Start Devin Bowman and bring him in. Number one back. It is your time to shine. All right, here we go. Here we go, Derek. We're in big number 36. Let's bowl through him. Oh, pro difficulty's beautiful. Oh, it's juking for me. What is going on? I don't like that one bit. 16 yards, though, on the rush. Let's punch it in. Already, I'm thinking touchdown. Here we go. Running a similar play. In fact, it may be the same one. Bowl him over. Okay. Maybe we'll get Derek involved in the passing game. That could be the move. Oh, it's Dalvin Cook. Okay. Skip. All right. The CPU doing auto moves for me is the dumbest thing of all time. I hate it. I don't know why that's in the game. That's ridiculous. They're sending heat at me. I can't take this. Just don't send heat at me this time. Let me get the ball off. There it is. There's TJ. Nope. There's Derek. Okay. Come on, Derek. They reacted somewhat well to the draw. Oh, my. All right. Whoever Josiah is can't catch an easy pass. So now we're on defense. I don't know if you're going to get that touchdown, buddy. We're getting the sack, though. They might just pound the run. I don't want to do that. It is a run. That's the worst angle of the ball carry I've ever seen, dude. What is this game? Zach Cunningham? Awful. All right, just, they might just spam the run the entire time, which is not fun. Someone blow this up. All right, it's not TJ or JJ. Are they ever going to pass the ball? I don't think so. Oh, this is a pass. Get him, TJ. Get him, TJ. Make the play. Let's go. Oh, we got a yard. You're kidding me. We're going to count it. That's a good play. <laughs> We're going to count it. Count it as what? That's clearly... You can't just count a non-sack as a sack. Let's see what we can do with JJ on third and eight. They got to pass the ball, right? Oh, JJ spun the wrong way. Adam Shaheen? What in the world? Nice pass, Tyra. That was sick. What are you, Nate Peterman? Oh, JJ in the backfield. Let's go. That's a play for JJ. I want that sack with TJ Watt, though. This is bona fide passing situation. Third and 12 from the 34. Let's get after it, TJ. Please get to the quarterback. Tyrod's going to run. Oh, my goodness. 
Alright. We got to stop, though. I guess that's probably going to do it for this video, guys. Answer to our question was no. The Watt brothers cannot win the Super Bowl, at least in the terms of Madden Simulation. I feel like with the actual Texans team, um, as our Watt brothers develop, and of course, like, J.J. Watt's not going to develop anymore. He's sick. He's insane. But, you know, T.J. Watt, as he gets better, and Derek Watt, potentially... This could be a team that could actually win a Super Bowl in real life. I think that'd be kind of cool to see them all on the same team. However, it's extremely, extremely, extremely unlikely that it will ever happen. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.